Hey Ravens, welcome to this week's edition of ONW Now. Today we have a look at one of our newest clubs and Game Day Northwest. But first, the week of giving starts next week. Here's a preview of the week. On Monday, we will kick off this week with a pep rally to celebrate Raven Pride. Don't forget to wear your Raven gear. Wednesday is Veterans Day. Wear your red, white, and blue to support our veterans. We have a special Cantivity night in the gym for five, from 5 to 7, full of games and activities. It costs five cans to enter. That night, there will also be a dodgeball tournament. There can be up to eight people per team, and it costs 30 cans to play. Friday is our annual blood drive. Make sure to wear red and help save a life by donating. Finally, Chick-fil-A is holding a competition between all four Olathe schools during the month of November. Visit Chick-fil-A each week in November and order the item of the week. Make sure to men mention you are from Olathe Northwest. We can win up to $1,000 for the Johnson County Christmas Bureau. Have you wondered why there are free compliments in the mirrors? Of the bathrooms, Rachel and Samantha have the look of the new club at Olathe Northwest. I have wondered. A group of students have committed to redefine current beauty standards for everybody. Driven by change to address issues such as the way people view themselves and understanding beauty, many students have taken the initiative to make a profound impact in our community. Nikki Boudreaux is one of them. Rebel is a club where it's focused on appreciating who you are, your body, your just everything that's on the inside, just knowing who you are. Society and media has a major effect on the way we view ourselves. The goal of the Rebel Club is for people to change the way technology creates standards for teens in this generation. Nikki Boudreaux started the Rebel Club because she was faced with a personal challenge in her life. I was encouraged to start Rebel because um, I struggled with an eating disorder my freshman and sophomore year. And I feel like social media, especially in high school, it causes a lot of us to look at the things that we aren't. And what Rebel does is it focuses on who we are and by using uh, social media, we can put positive things on social media that'll encourage you. Launched in more than 10 schools in the Midwest, Rebel has been making an impact since 2008. I just knew that people needed to be encouraged in a school setting, not just at home or outside of a school, that they needed to be encouraged in a school where they can know that they're not alone with what they're struggling with. Rebel meets the second Monday of every month. Follow their Instagram at ownw.rebel for updates. For Samantha McHugh, this has been Rachel Burkhart. Now, back to the desk. That looks like an amazing club. If you're interested to go to, me go to the next meeting on November 9th. Last Friday, the football team played Olathe North with a chance to advance to the playoffs. Brennan Wolford has a story. Olathe Northwest battled up against Crosstown rival Olathe North, looking for their first sweep of Olathe teams ever in this do-or-die game for state. Both teams struggled to get their offenses going early. Then, Vinny Shabazz broke open the game for the Eagles with a 20-yard touchdown run. The Ravens, following an interception in the end zone by Trey Espy, put together a fantastic drive with a 25-yard reception by Kyle Rink. Then, on fourth down, ONW executed a perfect fake punt with David Burden getting the first down and more. The drive was capped off with a 29-yard field goal by Chris Diddle to end the half. Olathe North stormed out of the half. QB Matt Wright went 14 yards for the score, giving the Eagles a 13-3 lead. Northwest came back with a score of their own. Kyle Rink went 72 yards on a QB sweep, following an enormous block by junior Elijah Rowling. Eagles running back Vinny Shabazz added to his 100-plus yard rushing yards with this 50-yard run that set up another Matt Wright touchdown, extending their lead 19-10. Easton Krupper then found junior wideout Elijah Rowland, who made a spectacular catch in double coverage to haul in this 40-yarder. Chris Diddle launched in his second field goal of the night, this one a 40-yarder, putting the Ravens down 19-13. ONW needed a stop on fourth down to keep themselves in the ball game, and they got it from senior linebacker Connor Tripp with three minutes left to go in the game. On fourth down, ONW failed to complete their desperation pass to Jesse Rose, sealing the 19-13 loss. Ravens went 6-3 on the season, their best in school history, and 1-2 and in district play. Great season, guys, and fantastic year, seniors. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Brennan Wolford. Now, back to the studio. The team finished the season with a 6-3 record. That's the best in Olathe Northwest history. The volleyball team traveled to state on Friday and Saturday where they looked to take the state championship. Emily Kemp and Riley tomorrow have the story. The Lady Ravens volleyball team went into state last weekend with high expectations, hoping to come back from last year and achieve their season goals. 
With easy wins versus Wichita Northwest, Gardner City, and Blue Valley North, the Ravens breezed through the first day, putting themselves in a good position for day two and giving them first place in Pool A. On the first match of day two of state, the Ravens faced Blue Valley Northwest in the semifinals and won a close set one of 25 to 22. In the second set, the Ravens had a tough first loss of state and lost 25 to 19, making them head to set three. Set three was a constant back and forth, but sadly the Ravens couldn't hold on, making them lose 25 to 20, crushing their dreams as state champs. The Ravens ended up losing to Blue Valley North, ending their season fourth in state. Congrats to the Lady Ravens on their great 41-3 record and best of luck to them next season. For game day, this has been Riley tomorrow. Now back to the studio. The team had an amazing season and are sure to be contenders again next year. Also, congrats to Cameron Geldner and Leah Wellman for placing 6th and 15th at the state cross-country meet. It has been a great fall season. Winter sports begin practice soon. Look for our male and female athletes of the fall, and our coaches of the fall are on an upcoming show. That's all we have for you today, Ravens. For Tiaja Holt, I'm Connor Bickford. Have a great week.